in the book of Psalm chapter 34, verse 4, Psalm chapter 34, verse 4, the Bible says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. May the Lord deliver you from all your fears today in Jesus' name. Close your eyes, point your right hand to the ground, and shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, you serpent assigned against me, I command you to be roasted to ashes in the name of Jesus. You serpent assigned against me, I command you to be roasted to ashes, be roasted to ashes, be roasted to ashes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord Almighty, may the fire of God roast any serpent of darkness and sign against you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By the grace of God, our today's topic is Bible verses against snakes in the dream. Bible verses against snakes in the dream. Do you dream about snake last night? Do you see snake biting you, snake chasing you in that revelation? By the grace of God, we are going to talk few interpretations about the snake and the Bible verses. The word of God is a killer weapon against the oppression of darkness. The word of God is a powerful tool that can be used to fight and defeat Satan unto victory. When devil confront us in battle, we use the word of God to challenge them. Just as Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 4 that it is written, Thou shalt not tempt your Lord thy God in vain. Snake is a spirit of darkness. Snake represents devil. And that is why many people today usually see snakes in their dream. Snake spirit can deceive, lie, kill, tempt, or destroy a person's destiny or marriage. Are you seeing snakes in your dream? Are you seeing snakes attacking you in your dream? Are you seeing snakes chasing you? Are you seeing snakes coiling your body in the dream? Are you seeing snakes in your bed? Are you seeing different colorful snakes in your dream? Or you notice a snake bite? Or you discover a snake is crawling your bo body in the dream? No wonder the Bible says, He has not given us the spirit of fear. He has not given us the spirit of fear. When a person sees snakes, moving across the road, the first thing that will grip the mind of that person is fear. One of the first mission of snake or devil is to bring fear. Once you are afraid, it will attack you or bite you. By the grace of God, we are going to use several scriptures to attack and nullify the effect of serpentine spirit in our life. Once you can challenge the devil with these Bible verses before or after your dream, be rest assured of victory, even when you have a bad encounter about snake in your dream. I pray for you. May the Lord protect you from your enemies today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our confession Bible verse is taken from the book of Psalm 34 verse 4. Psalm 34 verse 4. Instruction and back on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Praise and worship for 15 minutes. So these Bible verses, I want you to take them anytime you feel you are having, you know, snakes in your dreams attacking you. So these Bible verses have been proven to be very, very helpful. And I pray this Bible verse will protect you and deliver you from this serpentine spirit in Jesus' name. Bible verse number one is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 22 verse 18. Exodus chapter 22 verse 18, the Bible says, Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. You wish behind my problem. I command you to die in the name of Jesus. You wish behind my problems. I command you to die in Jesus' name. Bible verse number 2 is taken from the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. The Bible says, Behold, I give unto you power to train on serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. You are going to pray like this. Say, you serpent and scorpion, I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. You serpent and scorpions, I am not your candidate. Die in Jesus' name. Bible verse number 3 is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. The Bible says, For God has not given me, for God, has not given Joshua Oreke, 
the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You are going to personalize this prayer. Spirit of fear, I command you to depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Spirit of fear, I command you to depart from my life. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 4 is taken from the book of Psalm 118 verse 6. Psalm 118 verse 6. The Bible says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. You are going to personalize this prayer point. Say, O oh Lord, surround me with your presence in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, surround me with your presence. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 5 is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. The Bible says, Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph, and make it manifest the server of his knowledge by us in every place. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, anointing to overcome my enemy, fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing to overcome my enemy, fall upon me, fall upon me, fall upon me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 6 is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. The Bible says, Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, you devil, I bind and lose your grip in my life. I bind and lose your grip in my life. I bind and lose your grip in my life. I bind and lose your grip in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 7 is taken from the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 18. Jeremiah 17, 18. The Bible says, Let there be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let there be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the way of evil and destroy them with double. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Every power assigned to trouble my destiny be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power I send to trouble my destiny. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 8 is taken from the book of Psalm 27 verse 2. Psalm 27 verse 2. The Bible says, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Every power assigned to eat my flesh and drink my blood, Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to eat my flesh and drink my blood. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 9 is taken from the book of Psalm 18, verse 44 to 45. Psalm 18, verse 44 to 45. The Bible says, As soon as the year of me, they shall obey me. And the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, you stranger behind my affliction, I command you to flee away in the name of Jesus. You stranger behind my affliction, I command you to fade away. I command you to flee away. I command you to flee away. I command you to flee away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 10 is taken from the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. James chapter 4 verse 7. The Bible says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee away from you. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, you devil, I resist you in my life in the name of Jesus. You devil, I resist you in the name of Jesus. I resist you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 11 is taken from the book of Psalm 143 verse 12. The Bible says, and of thy mercy cut off my enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh God, arise and destroy the enemies afflicting my soul in the name of Jesus. 
O God, arise and destroy my enemies, afflicting my soul, in the name of Jesus. O God, arise and destroy the enemies, afflicting my soul, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 12 is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. The Bible says, No weapon fashioned against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, Every weapon of the enemy fashion against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every weapon of the enemy fashion against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 13 is taken from the book of Leviticus chapter 26 verse 7. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 7. The Bible says, And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. See, I receive the power of God to chase my enemies unto destruction in the name of Jesus. I receive the power of God to chase my enemies unto destruction in the name of Jesus. I receive the power of God to chase my enemies unto destruction in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 14 is taken from the book of Psalm 18 verse 48. Psalm 18 verse 48. The Bible says, It delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou lifted me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh God, arise and deliver me from my enemy. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and deliver me from my enemy. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and deliver me from my enemy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible verse number 15, the last Bible verse, is taken from the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, the Bible says, And they overcame him by the blood of the lamp, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, you problems in my life. I overcome you by the blood of the lamp in the name of Jesus. You problems in my life, I overcome you by the blood of the lamp. I overcome you by the blood of the lamp. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray, may you overcome your enemy. May you overcome that devil, that serpent, assigned against you in that dream in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that, oh, the Bible says, He will arise and fight your battles unto victory and you shall hold your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if you have been having snake dreams frequently, always refers to this type of Bible verses and prayers. And the Lord will give you victory over your enemies in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.